Okay, another super quick video for you guys. So as you guys know, my steering is super loose and I think it's because these heim joints. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and toss on this um, new steering stabilizer. What I did was I just got a Monroe, made in the USA, good old fashioned steering stabilizer. Got this uh, Barnes off-road one-ton steering, <coughs> excuse me, um, steering stabilizer bracket. So that's gonna mount right up there. I'm gonna drill this hole out use this hardware that it came with, chop this side off so that I can use this bolt, and I'm just gonna toss this on there. Now I know this isn't gonna solve my extremely loose steering, but it should help just a little bit. And anything that I can do to help a little bit, besides swapping out this setup, I think will be worth having. Plus it's only cost, I think that was like $27, and that was like 15 bucks. So even if it helps just a little bit, it'll be worth having on there. If it doesn't, I'll take it off, no big deal. But I did want to just do something to kind of help with the steering. I'm also looking at getting a curry sway bar from up front. Um, we'll see how that works out, see if I can actually score it. Um, and we'll kind of go from there because someone's selling one online. More important thing for me right now is just a bumper just because I want to get something up front. But again, so let's go ahead and toss this on. I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. Should be a super easy install since I have some hardware just kind of lying around. Just bolt that side in. Put this bracket on, drill out the hole, and then kind of line it up on there. Again, I don't expect it to do magic, but if it does just a little bit, it'll be worth having. Now I went with the Monroe because steering stabilizers, there's so much, there's so many reviews on if they work, if they don't work, the dual steering stabilizer setups are a waste of money, if one is actually better than the other. So again, I just went with this because it's highly recommended for just a great replacement and nothing crazy. Um, I don't think I, from what I've seen and what I've used in the past, I haven't ever noticed a huge difference between like a Bilstein or like a, a normal Fox 2.0 versus the stock one. The only time I've ever even replaced them is when I bash them on rocks on JKs because it's on the wrong side and it's just the first thing that gets beat up. So otherwise, I've always felt the same difference between the two. Sometimes nothing when I've taken them off. I did have death wobble once when I took it off, but that was only because um, I went down to smaller tires when I had the bigger 37s on there, never had an issue. So again, let's go ahead and toss this on, show you what it looks like, we'll go on from there. All right, there it is installed, that's all the way to the right, so I still have a little bit of space, which is good. I'm going to take it all the way to the driver's side, see how that looks. Cool, and there it is all the way to the right. Now I probably have a little bit of room that I could probably take it a little bit more this way, but for now I think that's perfect. I'll kind of see how that works out, that's still a good six seven inches of stabilization that i can use and utilize and um, again we'll just see how it works out hopefully it does something if not i'll take it off but it can't hurt to have it on there so cool tell me what you guys think and i hope that is cool hope to see you guys soon and we'll keep these updates coming